Hi everyone, it's Adriana here from Couture Creations and today I have a quick technique on how to use alcohol inks to create a wonderful background for your cards. Today I have a card here that I created a unique background with alcohol inks and also added some dies and mini stamps from the Less We Forget collection that's available from Couture Creations. This unique background is created with alcohol inks and I'm going to show you how I created this using the Couture Creations Yupo paper. Now we have A4 size but also we have the 5x7 size. There's 10 in each pack and it's in white and it's a great size for all your card making. And all you have to do is probably just trim it on the sides to add to your 7x5 cards. I'm using the alcohol blending solution. The couple of colours I've used the bottle, the lemonade, citrus and also a touch of red pepper which I'm going to show you with my brush how to just flick that over the top of the Yupo paper. So first of all I'm just blending over my Yupo paper some the colours with the alcohol blending solution and some of the colours that I mentioned and I have all the links down below in the description of all the colours that I've used and the codes. So I'm just flicking on a few colours. I tend to put a, lot, a little bit more of the lighter colours. I find it sort of blends in really well. So I've just cut put to, um, that on my Yupo paper and this is a new tool that I'm going to show you. It is called the Couture Creations alcohol air blower and this is a great little tool to blow away or not away but just blowing all the colors so they blend in beautifully and they give you like a beautiful feathered effect see how it sort of blends in the colors and i love it how it feathers feathered away the colors on the cardstock or on the yupo paper actually so what I'm doing here is just um, using the tool just to blend in the colours. If you want to add some more um, blending solutions to get more of a feathered effect, you can. It'll be it'll dilute the colour. So I'm just using that on here and I'm moving it on my glass mat. Now this glass mat was designed um, by Lucy Campanew and she created one for me so when I went to Frankfurt I was using this on my demo table and it's got my name on it so it's a very unique one and I thank Lucy for giving this one to me but we're going to have so Couture Creations are in the process of creating some wonderful glass mats ready for your alcohol inks projects that way you don't um, create a mess on your craft table so stay tuned for that so I just flicked a little bit of colour that I blended with a bit of alcohol blending solution and you can see how it sort of gives like a watercolour effect and just blowing it with the air blower it just gives a very diluted and I love that effect. I'm just adding a little bit more of the bottle coloured green just to flick a little bit of colour on top of that and then I will actually add a little bit of the red pepper to finish it off, the red pepper alcohol ink colour, just to finish it off with a little bit of um, sort of speckled effect. And you just do that by just adding a little bit of the alcohol colour on with the brush and just you can see, I'm just flicking it with my hand just to give it a bit of contrast colour. So that's how I created my background of my card. It is a little bit different than the one of my card because each time you use the alcohol inks you get a different unique look and you'll never have the same. No one in my classes will ever have the same. So thanks for watching. I'll have all the links below of all the, the products that I've used on my card and also if I have a, if you want to see some more uh, techniques with alcohol inks or any couture products click on the link below. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.